Hello, it's Andy Graham of HoboTraveler.com. I'm in uh, Moldova, no, Chisnia, Chisnia. I'm with well, my friend. It's in Moldova, actually. So. You're, you're in? This is the same name as my friend in uh, Thailand from the Netherlands. He's, but we're uh, trying to find a bus because we're going to go to Transistoria or something. But I wanted to point out that we're in a market area. So this is really, market area cities are always fun to come to. We can keep walking now. They're always fun to come to. I'm following him, so I just have to stay him. But uh, when you have a market city like this, it's always a lot of fun in the daytime just to walk around and look at people, which is one of the problems I have in Europe because I don't really like to go look at, you know, shoe stores and jewelry stores and all this stuff. I like to look at these kind of things. And they got all sorts of things here, but we're on the edge of... Uh, Russia right now so the cultures were in a transition place we're really changing between European culture to Russian culture am I right más o menos absolutely right he says I'm absolutely right hey you can buy underwear hello girls I'm not getting many replies on the hello girls things hello how are you Oh, bouncing off completely. The music's good. Hey. What? Yeah, I was trying to get the music. Hello, girls. How are you? Hello. Hey, I speak English. Yeah, if you want to buy this phone. phone. Hello. <laughs> We're going into the Gar Alto. It says twist of French. Gar, T A R E, in French is thing, is, is bus station. Station. We're hunting down a ticket for Tiraspol. It's a little rogue country we're going to. How much? How much? How much? Two euro? No. Two euro. Two euro. They're saying we don't need a ticket so we can get on the plane without it. Let me uh, change the money. Okay, he took us all the way around the building to a, another thing. Yeah. Oops. Okay, but I will leave. Stuffing it inside the thing. Getting in the van. This is a. Uh, he wants us to get in so he can take off. He if I get sick, I'll puke on you. Okay? <laughs> hey, relax. The guy's collecting the money and he keeps screaming at us in a foreign language, so it really just is fun. Moldova, excuse me. Okay, Andy Graham, Hobo Traveler. Just went into my 104th country. Debatable, because this is a rogue nation. We're in Transistria. This is... Istria. Say it right. Transnistria. Transnistria, yeah. By the time I leave the country, I may be able to say it. Which is probably a couple days. <laughs> but we had to go through the check, and I think they even translated our name into Russian, you think? Yeah, yeah, the, the immigration paper. There's your name in Latin. Uh, yeah. Alphabet and your name in Cyrillic alphabet. So the Cyrillic thing is like a yeah, Russian. Uh, yeah, I'll show you after I can dig it. We're, we're, we're packed in the back of a van here, far across in the back, and we're in a little minivan. And the driver's going, screaming at us in some foreign language. What language is he speaking? I don't know. I think uh, it's some debate, Some debatable language. He's been I think like it's Russian. We obviously, our body language says Korea, Korea. <laughs> okay, I've really been in 103 regular countries and one rogue country. Andy Graham.
Welcome to America. So this is a trans Transnistoria. And the word trans means the cross. So we're crossing the the Nistoria? Yep. Nistria. Yep. I'll never get it. Okay, we arrived in what is it? Tiraspol, the city. Outskirts of Tiraspol. The outskirts. We're at the bus stop. It's one of these places where there's a bunch of little vans stopping, or whatever. And somehow the driver, the the owner of the hostel, Tiraspol Hostel, is coming to pick us up. But I'm feeding the dogs. We're up to four now. We've got four collected here. See all the dogs over there? Wow, that's an ancient one. Look at that thing. Brand new one, right? Well, we're waiting for the hostel driver. He's both the, the man from the hostel is supposed to be from America. So, I don't know if that's a good thing or not. But, we'll find out. He's debating whether having this uh, next to the wall when the dogs are walking by is a good idea. You understand dogs might raise their leg on this. I haven't got my foot through this thing so I'm nervous. I'll go back and put my The new country, new girls. Okay, I thought the first bus was a tip, uh, first trolley bus was typical. This is, seems to be the typical one. I don't know where they got that 40 or 50 year old one. It seems to be the odd one out. Okay, Tim, the uh, bus, uh, the hostel owner of the hostel, Tira, what is it, Tirasol, right? No, it's Tirasol. Tirasol has came and picked this up, but I don't know. I think we're getting on a bus or are these little taxi, little boat. Well, we can do two things. We can walk or we can uh, take a taxi. I don't know. It's really up to you guys. It's two kilometers. Two kilometers. I can walk that far. It's just a hike this way. Yeah. So he wants us to walk two kilometers. <laughs> <laughs> is that a good thing? You can pay. A dollar fifty for a taxi, or we can walk. We don't. Uh, <laughs> I don't even have a dollar fifty in the local money. Okay, he's telling us that this is the model for East Ukraine. Uh, Ukraine. Okay, go on. Well, uh, this is Sharif. This is a monopoly in uh, Finnish Boba Transnistria, and uh, in places like this, monopolies control politics and the economy. Which, uh, I'm not saying it's bad here, it's actually a pretty good life here, but uh, it's a monopoly controlled economy and that's the model that they'll use in East Ukraine as well. It'll be uh, oligarch owned monopolies that come in, create their own currency, uh, have a monopoly grip so that there's no competition, and uh, they'll wander a lot of money. And that's pretty much the model for all these places. This is a shopping mall over here being built. Yeah. It'll be a big one, owned by the Monopoly. But we're still, are you considering this a communist country? Uh, not at all, it's Wild West capitalism. <laughs> Wild West yeah. capitalism. Just with Monopoly control, but as long as you don't mess with the Monopolies, you can pretty much do anything you want. It's, pr it's pretty deregulated. Uh, people who grew up here are accustomed to getting around government, not going through government. You get to find right. ways around it. Right. I yeah. was telling him earlier that I like... Uh, Border towns because they're kind of the wild west. Yeah. So this is a Russian Russian cemetery and it's close to Halloween, so they're decorating things. Hey, what's all these chairs for? Um, they will sit there at the uh, benches and tables and have a vodka and food to uh, commemorate the their loved one. They got they got benches over here. I can't tell you that. Seems one. to be the national <laughs> color, y'all. The roofs and the stadium they like are blue. Very colorful stuff. Yeah, yeah. Hey, so all you guys with that morbid sense of humor, we're here. <laughs> this is. Yeah, I know this. Where are we at? We're in. Tra How do you say it? Trans. Transanista. Locals call it Penistrova. We're in Transanista. I'm Andy Graham of HoboTraveler.com. I'm in Transanista, talking with Ted and Yurun. 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 Oh, now you got it right. A little fancier right here, and somebody's got their picture on the one. They said it was two kilometers. I'm thinking it's closer to three or four. <laughs> well, we have a. What we say for four for for one point? How much money? A dollar and a half. Uh, how much money? What? How much would a taxi have been? 
it would have been about a, a little over a dollar. <laughs> so these guys are into an adventure. Yeah. <laughs> a funeral is coming up. American. Oh, my girls. We got a well outside this. We're just like Africa here. And uh, you'll notice the cars wait. They will not pass a funeral procession. So all these people will wait. Until, oh, that's polite of them. Yeah. So the cars aren't w aren't moving. They're waiting for the funeral procession to go through. Yeah. Just. Hi. Hey. It's a well. I think we've arrived. We're at the Tiraspol Hostel. It's one of the most isolated breakaway Soviet republics in the world. Yeah, it looks really nice. <laughs> 